What's up, guys? We're back. We're turning out uh, draft prospects left and right. Today, we're going to that defensive cornerback out of LSU, Derek Stingley Jr., six foot, 190. This man as a freshman was insane. I mean, look at the comparison they put over here, Stephon Gilmore. The guy has skills that kills. Let's break it down in the actual film room, okay? So we're looking at Derek Stingley up here, top of your screen. Plus, what does he initially bring to any defense in the NFL? Well, playmaking ability, you know, obviously this was a great interception as he's just able to track and does a good job with his footwork, you know, keeping his eyes on the receiver, but also the quarterback at the same time, be able to retrack this football and then go up and make a nice hands catch and really just take it away from the receiver. So obviously he's got, you know, the tools necessary to be, you know, a shutdown corner as we're going to see here uh, in the tape. Yeah, it's how smooth he moves too and how when he makes a decision, he's going. So this is like a huge click and close. He, he's here at the top of your screen again. This is like one of his highlight films from all the things you see on ESPN, NFL Network, the click and close. I mean, he's diagnosing already. He's the quarterback singing in, in the flats. I'm getting downhill fast. Knocks the crap out of the guy, fumble. And this guy, the rest of his teammates return it to the house. So stuff where he's heady, but he's almost a little too aggressive at times, as we'll show in the film. But again, Top of your screen, break it down for me, Fles. Right, again, just showing good, you know, spatial awareness and being able to come up and make a nice, solid tackle. So he's got, you know, already traits that you you like to see, you know, quick click and close and ability to tackle and, and make open field tackles, which is very important to every defense uh, he could be a part of. Yeah, he's not scared in the running game as, as well. I mean, some corners, like we looked at Kair, Kair Elam, he doesn't have the want to get after it in the running game. Check out, again, Derek Stingley here. Click and close, get downhill, getting low. Look how low he's getting. His knees are hitting the ground, hitting the, the player's knees. He's not going to get through me. He's going straight down. you got to love that mentality for a corner. that He can not just cover and mirror, but he, he can actually get after it in the running game too. Here, getting a little handy, aggressive at the line. What do you like with this? Yeah, his ability to just reroute, you know, receivers, you know, be physical at the point of attack, but – He's just really smooth. Again, not the longest arms, but he has the ability to, you know, do those little jabs to get guys off their spots and then mirror very well as he as he shows there. So, again, really good job, and you're going to see it here on the next couple of plays where he can just mirror guys uh, pretty flawlessly. And what does that result in? Sacks. I mean, the whole thing is the, the corner is helping the edge rushers get in or the edge rusher is making the easier on the cornerback. So, again, top of your screen here, watch a mirror like Plus was saying. Just getting in the way, like reading, diagnosing, this guy's going to want to try a slant. I'm going to get in the way of it. Oh, he's going to try a double move, but I'm still right there. I mean, it's it's kind of flawless in how fluid he is with his movements and how low his butt is staying. Like his butt is low to the ground, not really getting hung up, no choppy feet. So everything's right there, right in the pocket of the, of the receiver. Got a lot to like with that. Yeah, and, and here he does a great job. Now, again, they, they – they throw a flag on him here, but I didn't really see much. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe a little contact, but not, you know, nothing too outrageous. But again, just showing his ability to stay right there. Now his versatility comes into play as he's able to play inside. He's here on the slot uh, receiver. And again, does a great job of just staying with his man and, and showing good coverage. You know, a little hand check there, regains balance and footwork, sees the ball and does a great job of just tracking everything. Yeah, because if you think about it, he's feeling this guy coming over to kind of give that natural pick. But still, if he jabs at him at the line right there, it slows the receiver down so he can kind of flow with him towards the ball. And that's that's flawless right there. Again, it's he did phenomenal in his first year uh, at LSU, and then he got into injuries, a little drop-off. But still, look at the production. Look at where he's at. This is just one hell of a th good thrown ball by Tua when he was at Alabama. But the, the coverage skills, they're all there. What do you see? Yeah, definitely the coverage skills are there. I, I think his technique has always been really good. I think that's what, you know, puts him at the top of this class when you look at corners right there along with uh, Sauce Gardner. But and again, here, you know, going up against Devontae Smith, who's also was a first round pick, I mean, you know, that's tough. But again, I just like that his his positioning is always very consistent. He's right there to at least make an attempt on the football or make a play. I'll let you break down this one. So, I mean, looking at the defense in hindsight, I mean, you got four guys back. You're potentially thinking this is a cover four, not a cover three. I think Singley just got a little overexcited and over aggressive. But what do you think with this one? Yeah, it looks like there's just some type of miscommunication. It looks like, 
you know, he was probably supposed to drop back with the receiver and stay in that zone, but he went for the flat route and thought the quarterback was going to go that way. Got a little trick there and, you know, the quarterback ends up going over to the top and, uh, you know, makes that play. So ends up being a touchdown against him, but, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, it can be definitely coached up and he just has to learn, you know, I got to stay patient and not always go for, you know, that big play. Yeah, but that's, like you said, coaching can help with that, just knowing what your assignment is. But then motor. You can't teach motor. This guy has it. So he's got aggressiveness in the running game. He's got great mirroring and coverage skills. And he's also got a motor to boot. I mean, this is plenty of things that any coach would like, and they'll they'll coach this up. What do you see? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think for the most part, this guy is very consistent with his assignments, and he does a great job there of getting back into the play. Uh, and then, you know, same thing here as he's just going to read it right, you know, stay in position and make a nice uh, tackle on the running back. Uh, so, again, same thing here. He's going to read it, read it correctly uh, and, you know, force this running back to go outside, even though he misses the tackle there, but still in the same spot, good positioning. And he just understands how to play the game. And I think that's very important for a guy like Derek Stingley. Yeah, I mean, overall, he's easily one of the top two corners, if not the number one. But, guys, how do you rank it? Where do you see Derek Stingley Jr.? Do you see him being your top corner, second corner? Where do you see him going? Let us know in the comments down below. And with that said, until the next one.